So how did I do that? Well, I have a monitor for the tiny little Mobius now. Thanks to Graham Fulston. See if I can zoom in on it over there. It's sitting over there underneath the canopy at Shell Hill. And the wires that link it back, whoops, wrong way, have to go up overhead, of course, so I've just got them temporarily propped up with a small tripod. But with this, I can see what I'm shooting at. So that right makes it really handy. I'll bring something up into the frame. It's my 08. It's really fun to be able to see what you're shooting. I mean, getting off in weird, out of the way places is great, except if you can't see what's in the frame, it'll likely to turn out to be garbage. So Graham came up with a way to be able to see what you're shooting. I have it propped up in the back with the track rubber. I almost always tilt my camera down. And we can see what it's seeing. It's a great view too because it's nice and uh, makes the, tr the street seem much wider. Let's put, uh, let's put something out front make it more interesting but this is a great setup I mean you could tuck that camera in almost any place and uh, shoot some video of your trains in case you didn't get that downstairs let me explain it to you once again this is Graham Fulston's idea First, you need a backup camera monitor screen for cars. You can get them very cheaply on Amazon, eBay, many places. This one was $10. It comes with this, this cord. Yellow's video, white sound, and the, the red is power. To power it up, you need a power supply. Okay, now, if this is in the wall at 12 volts, because that's what cars are, you've powered the screen. Then you need this item. This is what's called a breakout cable. You can buy it as an accessory to the Mobius camera, or you could just buy one online. So this, instead of the charging cord and video download cord, goes into the back of the Mobius camera. Okay, so now, so far we've got the screen powered and this. We've got the camera and we've got this. Well, forget about this one. You don't need that. Let's get these two. And those have to be connected with the video screen. So you can either get you can either get a male to male connection like that and have a fairly short leader or as I did 
I just dug down in my junk box and found an old um, AVI or I don't know what a super video or whatever it is the old before HDMI came along and I used that didn't cost me anything if you have to buy one you could get one for very cheap so you hook that up to that end to the camera and then you hook this up the white and the yellow to the monitor and you plug the monitor in turn the camera on and it works. remarkable and with my long cable I can move it right down the street wherever I want it so we're going to look forward to uh, many more magic moments with the Mobius camera